Welcome! I'm the Overlord, and this is Abandoned Ware for the Holidays. That's right, I'm gonna look at some very, very old DOS games, usually shareware or abandoned ware. And there was a thing back then. Oh, the demo's gonna start. Let's see, let's see if we can sort of stop the stop the demo. There we go. It was a it was a thing back in the, the 90s. The 90s that a lot of these games would put out free little little special Christmas themed demos or levels. Obviously, you can see the ordering information sort of blinking about. It wants you to order. And Jetpack was one of the ones that I really like. I don't even know if I ever played the original game. Man, it really does not want to just sit there. All right, well, we better get started. And I thought it'd be fun to go back and sort of play, play around a little bit. Enjoy ourselves, Rookie Santa. The controls are kind of weird. Alt is to jump. Which is, you know, awkward. But a lot of a lot of these old games, alt is the key. Have our little phaser there. We can we can break down the Oh, there's a robot guy. Yeah, those moving things will kill us. Not good. Oh! I did not know that, that was a secret, but I think yeah, we're boned. Okay, a uh, new plan. Let's not do that again. That was bad. I love how it gives you the preview of the level as it loads and little, little tiny sprites and stuff. That's really cool. And I did, I also spent a ton of time in the level editor for this game because it does have one. And apparently the, the normal game, Jetpack, has a full featured level editor. Uh, I did not know that, because it seemed like I always had enough stuff to make fun levels on my own. I didn't know, uh, so that was an extra life we got. Let's wait for for Robot Friend, who's not actually a friend. He will murder us terribly, horribly. It's not a good time. Let's wait for him to sort of leave that area. He's just like, derp, derp, derp. And once he starts coming up here, oops, see if we can get him to go up here. He'll kind of chase you down. The ball will just go left and right. And we did not get that golden vase, the vase, but I'm okay with that. Now let's be sneaky and get all of these. And the level exit open, so now we can jetpack away. Uh, oh. Ah, there we go. We could get that spinny thing, which will freeze the enemies in place for a while, but we didn't really need it. The Grecian Baths. This is a neat level as well, because you have jetpack chargers and jetpack drainers, and there's a lot of enemies that will hide behind this green grass looking stuff. It's all, it's all, all of the sprites from the original game are updated to be you know, holiday themed, which is pretty great. In this case, Christmas themed. Instead of like some random cool dude from the 90s, you have Santa Claus. And instead of picking up gems, you're picking up presents. I'm going to assume that he's picking up those presents in order to deliver them later, but those little missile things that just pass by the center of the screen, they're sort of decorated with the, with the Christmas green and red. And the the little purple and pink are little decorations for the holly right here. We're just picking up all of these, all of these presents. So you might be like, what are these purple things? Well, we can use our phaser to sort of destroy the blocks. And those come back right away. So obviously you don't want to be caught. Okay, we're going to sneak by. Okay, yes. Barely made it. When they're frozen, they can't hit you, but obviously, if they're not frozen, then you'll die. So let's just swing in there. All right, doing pretty good so far. I think in my practice run, this is as far as I went, just to get used to the controls. So this one, all of the balls sort of act like a big worm creature thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, oh, phew, barely made that. It's about learning the pattern of the worm. 
And let's go ahead, take this teleport. Whee! And in this section, the, the safe spots are marked by the different tiles. So if you're on the gold tile, you run the risk of getting run over by the giant worm when it teleports. Oop. Oh, I broke the worm. And if it gets caught in one of the, the barriers, it'll make a wah sound. So I actually, I think I goofed this too much. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down there. Yeah. No, I don't think there was any way I was getting down there. That's rough, but we have to get everything else first, because that's the last place we need to be. So, let's try that again. It gives us enough power for one jetpack. Let's just go up this purple teleporter. So yeah, you kind of want to hope that... Uh, okay. Bow, 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 bow! Yeah, the, the sound effects, uh, it's so nostalgic, and... Okay, we were safe there. Yeah, there's three, there's three more stragglers up here. So I'm thinking, okay, so I'm thinking what we want to do is we want to actually use the green teleporter once it looks safe. And that, that, oh no! I was like, that puts us down here, but we should have waited just a few more seconds to see to see what's up. But yeah, I remember Jazz Jackrabbit was a game that, again, oh, oh, I goof that hard. Hard goofing it. Was a game that I played that I might do. It's actually bought and sold in a collection by Epic Games now. It might have always been, oh, that was, that was just poor timing on my part. Totally goof that. And that was another game that had, like, a free Christmas expansion that I played a lot as a kid. Lots of good memories. We game over. That was just... That was just sad. There's no level select in this version, as you can see. Hit the button. In the real game, there is, so... There you go. F4, custom, save game, or standard. So if we had a save game, which... I don't know. I don't know if that saved the game, but we can check out custom games. There aren't any. You must order this game before you can play your homemade levels in a full game using standard levels. Oh, man. But the essentially, you would just make a bunch of levels, and then you would set them up and play them one after another. So I would always try to create like a little adventure. Usually the first level would be going to, like, crossing a bridge and entering a castle. So there'd be some stuff to jump over, but it wouldn't be too too complicated. And then you'd get into, like, different rooms and stuff. And ha, 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 that's our extra life. Should have been like, ho, 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 ho. And I spent a lot, a lot of time, always loved game editors when I was a kid. It's just something about, you know, uh, oh, 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 I, I goofed. He got stuck. Oh, uh, the robot got stuck there, too. We almost had free reign of the entire level. But there was always something I just loved about these level editors. They're certainly, like, obviously with, uh, you know, now free, full-featured game engines like Unity... Or even some good stuff that you can pay a, a small price for. As an adult with income, well, not necessarily with income right now. Though I could have income if you go to patreon.com slash the Overlord Empire and subscribe for as little as $1 a month. Get awesome benefits and miss the one up. It's all right, we'll just fly up there. We'll just cheat, cheat a bit. Oh no, robot, you need to stop. We'll, we'll get the clock stopper thing, the time stop. But first, we'll get this vase, this vase. Vase of gold and frankincense or something like that. Frankenstein sense. Like the wise men. 
So I, I don't want to hit those those white things above the door because those are stalactites and they will kill you. It is not a good time. Will we? Nope. Not going to be able to pass the robot. So we'll bait them up. Climb that. Aha! Get wrecked. But yeah, that's that's the thing that I that I really appreciated about a lot of these old games is that the the level editors and stuff they were so simple, like and that's that's kind of what I love about what they did with Super Mario Maker as well is they made the art of making a level just as much fun as actually playing the game. In fact. In my case, a lot of times it was more fun than playing the game because the actual game was challenging and difficult and I couldn't get very far. So, just playing around with the tools and making levels and just, you know, being creative, like, that was very satisfying for me. And I do have to say, it's a shame that, especially now with the whole Nintendo, Nintendo not copyright striking... Uh, Let's Plays and stuff anymore for their games. Oh, can't can't get close there. Random guy. Can, there we go. Oh no, a text message. Oh, I forgot to silence my phone. Oh, I'm subscribing professional. Zero out of ten. Worst video ever. Oh, that was bad, 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 bad. No, oh, hi. I don't know how I lived. Clearly, my pro jetpack skills from, you know, 1993 or whatever. Oh, there's an invincibility that popped up when you heard the whoa over there. I, I'll zoom in with the, with the editing. Oh. Let's see. Okay, we'll follow the worm a little bit. Get over here, and the invincibility disappeared. That is a shame. So now we have to go hard mode. Okay, I think we're safe if we chill here. Probably not, actually. Oh, okay. We are golden, yes! We finally did it! We finally beat the worm! Woo, do a little saints dance. Deliverance. Lots of conveyor belts. And, and spring guys, too. New enemies, yay. And if an enemy hits the teleporter, of course they'll teleport. Obviously. So he's stuck going this way until he reaches a dead end. Yeah. Because I, I really just wish that... Oh, no! Oh, that was scary and bad. That was not recommend- Okay, we want to come here last. Because otherwise- Oh, yes, a free time stop. Go, 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 Santa. You can do it. For all the little kids. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and try to get this. Oh, we could have also used the gold border for that. And there's a purple one right there. That's not good. Oh, ho, ho, holy moly, we were going to die. We got bamboozled there. That robot bamboozled us. But anyway, back to the third time I was trying to <laughs> make this point. I just wish Nintendo would have continued to support and add more knickknacks to Super Mario Maker and kept the Super Mario Maker theme, theme scene alive for a long time, because they could have done- Oh! That was my goof. I... Shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done that. Nope. Things were going so well. So, it's just think, like, they could keep adding new tile sets and stuff, and like, community awards, and more than just the amiibo things. That would have been amazing if they would have stuck with it, but... I guess since the Wii U was on its way out, they didn't really want to do anything with it for the Wii U or the 3DS, because I guess the Switch was the next next big thing. I think there's one, like, optimal path with this level here. Let's see if we can get this guy to, to follow us, and then we have that free path. Yep, 
Okay. Oh, no. Ho, ho, no. All right. We should be on a path to win. And the robot got confused. We got an extra life. That's good. That's very good stuff. Like, how cool would it have been if they would have added, like, a Super Mario Bros. 2 tile set to Mario Maker or anything like that? That would have been pretty amazing. Didn't get the rest of the gold. Didn't need it. Not going to see the Garden of Ephiria. Ephira. Something. Yeah, so those pill-looking things are switches. I think we need to deactivate all the switches. So these rails are just cosmetic. The little white dots between the presents are traps. You will die. And probably feel sad about it. We don't need those presents right now. We do need to... We need the jetpack fuel. How are we going to get that? Okay, well, first I think we need to... Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, oh, I see. We have to go in from the top. <laughs> Derp. Okay. That is something we can do. But yeah, it's a shame that... We'll just, we'll just leave those presents for now, since the door's right there anyway. Oh! I, I, I flinched a little bit there, so you probably heard the microphone shake. Oops! I feel like we're supposed to get jetpack fuel or something. But I guess not. Uh, 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 uh. Cool. Okay, we got it. I feel like once we have jetpack fuel, we can come back for that. What was the what was the item that appeared? Oh, it was. It must have been a stopper. It was in that pillar up there. Uh. Let's see. There we go. And now we can go. It's going to teleport us to the opposite end. But what do we do? I don't know. I don't know if we can do anything, though. This level is tricky. So we could make some stairs, but... like, do we... Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! Oh, and I goofed it. Because you're invincible when you're teleporting. Yeah, I think this is where things are gonna, gonna end for us, unfortunately. We're gonna have a game over, and that'll be it. But I think there are only, like, ten special Christmas levels anyway, so... Like, what can you do? Let's see... Boop that. Yeah, because you can't jump high enough to do anything. Like, you can't trap the the balls or anything. Or maybe actually... Mm. Rats, we already... Let's let's do it. Let's try to see if we can be a, be a little cheeky. Gotta go fast. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Well, we got the one for the green, so we'll go to that one. Yeah, being sneaky. Look at that. And then we should be able to do that. Jump over. And then now... Now I think we're golden. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no! I goofed it! I goofed it! Oh, no! Okay. Okay, that's it. But, yeah, this was... Oops, I punched my headphones. <laughs> uh, I, I just got so excited there. So, yeah, that is... That is the... The 
freeware jetpack Christmas edition from my childhood. Spent way too much time in it. Here's the, the editor, if you're curious. You can choose blocks. I don't really know all the controls for it. I do find it weird that the alt key is a big thing, but hey, there you go. Yeah, we could put down some blocks. I think the number keys are the different enemies. There you go. Some enemies for you. Yay! Where's the... Is it... There's some mis some holiday missiles. Oh, <laughs> you have maximum number of monsters. Thanks, game. So yeah, I, I certainly hope you enjoyed that. I'm thinking I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks for coming along with me and checking out some holiday abandoned wear. Definitely love this stuff. If you have other... If you have favorite Christmas-themed or holiday-themed games that came out for free when you were a kid, much like the whole shareware expansion... Like, holiday demo, just to give you a, a little taste of the full game, and then hopefully you'll send them money, and they'll mail you a CD of the game. <laughs> uh, then uh, feel free to let me know some of your favorites. Also, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you liked what you saw here. I'll probably do another one of these, at least one more of these, before the end of the month. And be sure to check out patreon.com slash the Overlord Empire. You can get the gift of giving by subscribing for as little as $1 a month. That's only $12 for an entire year of first look, special peak preview access. There's a whole bunch of other benefits depending on how much you want to give on the Patreon page. Get access to What's Up Wednesday where I let you know what's up with the Overlord Empire and let you know sort of what I've been working on. It's more of a, it's more of a bloggy, bloggy sort of thing with, you know, texts and sometimes pictures and sometimes raps. That's right. But regardless what you do, at the end of the day, I hope you have a happy holidays. <laughs> and stay out there and stay positive for the glory of demonkind.